Hey guys, I'm Dustin, welcome back to the channel, and on this channel we talk about things from vlogging all the way to tech reviews. So in today's video we're going to be doing another tech review slash technical information uh, video regarding the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. Okay, so one of the biggest questions I get in comments uh, about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, and in my opinion, this is one of the biggest issues with this camera, is the power options. So with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, some people have been saying they have been getting uh, upwards up to 40 minutes of video record time, whereas some people have, say, have been saying they've been getting as low as 19 minutes of video life on the LPE6 battery that comes with the camera. A few things I did want to mention about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K is that the aftermarket batteries actually show a percentage whereas the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K battery that comes stock with the camera shows just a, a sectional battery uh, of information. Now I would recommend that you don't use the percentage or the image that shows for the battery and I'll kind of explain why that is. It's very inaccurate and there is really no accurate way to know when exactly your battery is dying unless you go to the voltage meter that is right there exactly the same spot as the percentage meter for battery. I do want to show you guys how to do that and it's very simple. A lot of people don't realize they have the option uh, and it's even, I don't even think it's in the manual itself. So what you do is you just go ahead and turn your camera on. Once your camera is on in this top left corner, I'm just going to black it out so you guys can see right here there is the battery meter and right there it shows the voltage and if you tap it it shows the percentage so the very very weird odd thing about this is it shows a percentage like right now it shows eight percent but the battery is at 7.2 voltage which doesn't make sense because the battery itself it should last uh, until the battery shows about 7.6 or 7.7 .7 voltage um, so I would recommend rather than using the percentage like it shows right here You switch it over to the voltage amount and go to the voltage uh, Whenever it drops down to about 6.8 voltage uh, You want to swap out the LP6 batteries and that will kind of tell you when it's time to go So keep in mind when you're using LPE6 batteries only uh, when it drops down to the 6.8 6.7 mark You want to swap that thing out as fast as possible the reason why you want to swap that out as fast as possible is because there have been some people uh, who have been recording video and when the battery dies, the clip that you're recording will pretty much just delete itself or uh, end up being a corrupt video file that you can't retrieve later. So highly recommend you bring a lots of spare batteries or have an external battery power charging source so that doesn't happen to you and you don't lose hours or minutes of footage uh, that you can't get back. The next thing I did want to talk about, uh, I did a previous video on an external battery power option, which was basically this dummy battery. You can get this on Amazon and I'll have links in the description below. Connected to a 12 volt to 8 volt decoder, which would pretty much downgrade 12 volts to uh, 8 volts so that the battery, dummy battery, would match the same amount of power that comes out of the LPE6 batteries. And uh, this would connect to a battery power bank. Uh, which more than likely you'll find is all 12 volts like I have like so. The battery pack, uh, the 12 volt battery pack is a 12 volt talent cell 6000 milliamp hour battery pack. Uh, it runs output of 12 volts. It also has a, an external USB charging option, but I'm not going to be using that for this. Uh, you just connect it into that, connect the decoder, and then you connect your dummy cell, and then you connect your dummy battery. The dummy battery then goes into the battery slot of your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K where your battery would go. Once you turn that guy on, like that, you can turn your camera on just using that connected cable. There you go. A lot of questions I have been getting in the comments was why I don't use an external uh, connector as well as an LPE6 battery. And that is really a great question and I will answer that right now. The main reason why I don't use that uh, is because they are not readily available. And the ones that you can find right now are either sold out or they're highly expensive. And uh, this little cable right here with the dummy battery in total probably cost me about 12 bucks. I did want to mention I came up with a solution before the actual new cables came out. Uh, which are available on Amazon and eBay uh, to where I could actually use the waipu connector that came with the stock uh, camera charger and connect it to my camera. 
Uh, so this is the stock charger that came with the uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, and this is the waipu connector that comes out on the other side. This is a two-pin uh, male connector, and this pretty much will plug into a wall outlet and connect to your camera, and you can charge it on the fly with the battery inside. What I did was I chopped that cable up uh, to where I can pull the waipu connector off, like so. This is basically just an RC connector. This is an XT60. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I do want to show you how I power my camera from this point on. And it's, this is probably the safest way to do so. I connect this to another adapter, which I have made from the Talent Cell original battery uh, cable that came with this big guy right here. Uh, I spliced it and then I connected another XT60 on this side uh, so that I can basically connect this cable from the Talent Cell side to the Waipu connector and directly connect it to the positive and negative like it should be. And this guy right here, plug it in, and the Waipu connector automatically connects to the side here on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, just like your wall charger would. Once you do that, you can throw your LPE6 battery back in, turn it on. Now that it's on, you can see right here, well, the battery is charged. Uh, I don't have the power cell on now, but we'll go ahead and turn it on. Once it's on, you'll see right here where it changes to AC and charging. Now we have the camera itself charging from this battery pack, but at the same time, it's able to use the LPE6 batteries. So in my opinion, this is the best fail safe option because you have a battery pack externally, which will give you, uh, I would say up to two to three hours of power on one single battery pack. And you can swap these out on the fly, no problems. And at the same time, if the LPE6 battery uh, starts to die, you can just plug it in if you need to. So you don't have to keep this constantly plugged in, but when you can tell it's down to that 6.8, 6.9 uh, voltage amount, you can plug this guy in and start charging it up and go back and forth if you like to. Like I said, uh, the worst thing about this camera, and it's really not that big of an issue for me because I found workarounds, is the power, but these are the things that you have available and uh, honestly, very budget friendly. Now that the new aftermarket cables are coming out, uh, it's easier to charge your camera as you're shooting video and uh, just keep it alive as much as you can. There are a lot of other professional, more high-end options available as well. But for me, being a budget video shooter and a YouTuber, I don't spend as much money on my equipment as I'd like. And uh, this is pretty much what I'm working with right now. And I wanted to share that with you guys. I'll put some links in the description below. And uh, like I said, I wouldn't recommend splicing your cables unless you have electronic experience like I do. Uh, but that is an option uh, if you just want to plan on buying the cable itself that has the same exact connector that the stock one does. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. Well, that's it guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, this is really, really nice budget friendly setup. The Talent Cell battery pack cost me about 30 bucks. The Waipu connector came with the charger and this guy automatically came with the battery pack itself as well. I'll also put a link in the description for the dummy battery. Um, just another great option, for instance, if you just run out of LPE6 batteries or you wanna run this guy instead of an extra battery, it's very cheap and it's very easy to set up and use and I highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. I did wanna mention guys that everything in the description is an associate affiliate link. Uh, I will make some percentage of money. It's not a lot, but if you do buy from it, I'll just get a very tiny percentage off of it, uh, but I just wanna be honest with you guys in case you guys had any questions. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.